you should have the right to kill as many babies as you want. <laughs> kill them all! What you just heard was a snippet from a new show on Netflix featuring US comedian Chris Rock. It's shocking. His humour was simply diabolical and at the same time, his honesty was confronting. To great laughter and applause, the comedian proudly announced that he believed women should have the right to kill as many babies as they want. Kill them all, he said. He went on to say that he himself had paid for more abortions than any woman in the room. And to further laughter and applause, this was, after all, a comedy show, he said that when he goes to an abortion clinic, he simply says, give me the usual. Flippantly referring to having a punch card for the service, he looked forward to two more to get a free mango smoothie. This was incredibly hard to watch, but throughout it, truth was revealed, despite his brutality and gall. Obviously a key factor in being pro-choice is denying that the unborn child is indeed a child. Many simply choose not to believe it's a baby. But Rock does not entertain that fantasy. He made it absolutely clear what abortion really is when he went on to say, but let's not get it twisted, it is killing a baby. And the emphasis I just used was his. He was gruesome in making his point. He went on to say, because whenever I pay for an abortion, I request a dead baby. The response from the crowd was laughter. The number of Australian babies aborted each year is around 85,000, but not all of these abortions do result in a dead baby. In fact, every week in Australia, babies survive abortions and are left to die without medical assistance or even pain relief because it has been decided by adults that they do not deserve to live. It's not a new concern. In 2016, the Health Minister revealed to the Queensland Parliament that over 200 Queensland babies had survived abortions in 11 years, only to die after not receiving life-saving treatment, and that this number was increasing. When I heard that, I wrote to the Queensland coroner and asked whether the deaths of these babies had been reported. And if not, would the coroner conduct an investigation into the deaths of late-term babies who had been aborted for maternal psychosocial reasons but who were born alive and left to die. The coroner replied that they were unable to obtain particulars of the deaths because that information is protected from disclosure. Despite my request to the Queensland coroner for an inquiry being denied, we do have Northern Territory coroner's reports into the death of baby Jessica Jane that provides insight into what does occur. Jessica Jane was born alive after an abortion and placed on a metal kidney dish in an empty room for approximately 80 minutes until she died. According to the nurse who delivered her, Jessica Jane, although premature, was apparently healthy, had no apparent abnormalities, and her vital signs were relatively good. The nurse weighed the baby and she was 515 grams, and her clinical condition was strong. The nurse checked on Jessica Jane every 10 to 15 minutes and observed crying and movement, but she felt that her hands were tied. So baby Jessica was left to die where she lay. According to the coroner's report, after about an hour, her heartbeat and breathing slowed until death. So why am I bringing this to your attention now? Well, in an Australian first, three senators have introduced a human rights bill for the protection of children born alive into our Australian Senate, and it has progressed to committee stage. Their bill would make it lawful for a baby who survives an attempted termination of pregnancy to be entitled to the same level of medical care and treatment as any newborn child would born at the same gestational age. Now, ACL have been advocating for this and we are supporting these senators bill and now I'm asking you to as well. Here's how you can do that. Sign our petition. There's a link from our website. Over 12,000 have already signed but we need thousands more. Send a short email to all Australian senators as well, asking them to support this bill. And as well on our website, you'll find that there's a link to be able to do this. The humour of Chris Rock um, disgusts me. There is nothing funny about the pain of abortion. There's nothing humorous about the tragic journey for any young woman who has found herself at the end of an abortion. We should mourn for them. You know, in the famous um, words of Jesus on the in the Sermon on the Mount, um, Jesus said, blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. And how are we comforted? We're actually comforted by the Lord himself. The Psalms tell us that the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. 
and that he heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. So let us be a people known by our love and our compassion for the vulnerable. Babies born alive are among our most vulnerable. Women feeling like they have no option other than to abort their child are vulnerable. And both deserve better laws that will protect and nurture. I hope you will join us in this campaign. My name is Wendy Francis from the Australian Christian Lobby. This is the first in a series of videos we'll be releasing to followers on Fridays. I hope you find them informative and helpful and I look forward to your feedback. God bless.